Hi traders. In this video, I want to go over some trading setups of trades that did not work so that you can understand when we see a pattern and it's not a perfect pattern that we're going to be accepting some high risk. Today is Thursday, December 13th, and we are looking at two trades right now just for a review of what a good setup looks like. You can see in this first area that I've circled that we had a strong trend reversal where we went from blue zone to blue zone. And over on this chart here, we did have an up bar with a negative delta strength number. And as per the Zone Trader Pro theory, if you did take the trade, it only netted you three points. And don't get me wrong, three points is still a good trade, but your expectation of that is that the price is only going to trade back to the minor support here, which it did, and then you would trade into an exhaustion. If you took that trade from the minor support level to go long, again, your expectation is that you may only test the high which is what we did again here. This is the Zone Trader Pro theory working day in and day out. The trade we we're really looking for though is this exhaustion trade right here. And as you can see on the point and figure chart, we again had an, an up bar with a negative delta strength there. So next we want to look at the 150 tick chart and the five range order flow chart. And as you can see on the chart on the left, the 150 tick chart, I have placed red lines in the areas that I would consider to be a high risk to take any sort of trade. And the pattern that we see on the 150 tick chart is that we've entered a strong trend. So for those reasons, that strong trend trade should probably have been avoided. However, again, using patterns, we see that instead of getting a reaction here at the minor support level in a strong trend, we received a clue that this market was going to be reversing. And instead of reacting at the minor support level, we traded down and into the intermediate support level. That sets up a trade which I call the broken reversal. And the broken reversal culminates with the market trading at the intermediate resistance zone, which it did right here. This generally happens about one or two times a day, but it is an extremely profitable setup when you recognize it. If we look at the chart on the right, the order flow chart, we have excellent signals being given in the order flow along with the delta strength selling. At the area of the broken reversal, we also have the exhaustion signal, which is an excellent signal in and of itself. So that's kind of what we are looking for in a good trade. Now let's look at some trades that failed and see if we can figure out the reasons why. Okay, let's look at a trade from yesterday afternoon at about three o'clock in the afternoon. And this trade is going to illustrate why we have trading rules and what we do about them. We are again looking at the 500 tick chart and the 500 tick chart made a strong trend reversal again. And just like in the last chart we saw, we're expecting to only see a retracement back to the minor support area here, which we got. We got a small pop. And then as you can see on the point and figure chart, the delta strength came in again, telling us that there was selling and that selling took us down to the intermediate support zone. So right away, we have a cause for concern in that instead of getting a bounce at the minor support zone, we've gone all the way down to intermediate support. And like we just talked about, that's not what's expected and that will lead us into a broken reversal trade. 
in this case, in fact, the market was too weak to even make the retracement to the intermediate resistance zone. And we just continued to trade down from there. So if we did take a trade from this area right here, we are automatically accepting additional risk because we are in a broken reversal pattern and not a standard Zone Trader Pro trend trade pattern where we would be looking to be a buyer. Now, when we look at the other two charts, we see down here at the area where we would have made the trend trade from, we initially see that we were in a strong trend and we traded into a tick divergent exhaustion trade here. So really there is no problem in far as the 150 tick chart if you took a, a trade from here. And in the order flow, we see that we again had a good order flow signal with a large buyer coming in down here uh, on the delta strength and two order flow patterns. However, as we traded higher, we see that we had another large seller come in followed up by an exhaustion and a ZTP order flow. And at this point, you have a choice to make and what you are looking at in front of you is a set of reasons to scratch this trade if you had entered it. There would be three reasons for that. The first reason is that you are trading in a higher risk trade if you've recognized the broken reversal. The second reason is this seller right here that comes in at 163. And then the third is that you have an exhaustion cell and a ZTP order flow cell. And none of those are good for a long position. Next, from about 20 minutes earlier in the day, we're gonna look at a tick divergence exhaustion trade. And you see the tick divergence label in red here, along with this black dot. And what that means is on this bar, the tick no longer was divergent. The text label was left where it stood and turned to red, the red signifying the non-divergent along with the black dot. So you already have a problem if you are going to be looking to be a trader from there. The second thing that we'd look at is we come over here to the point and figure chart and we see that there was no delta strength selling coming in at this point. And we didn't see any delta strength selling on the 500 tick chart either. When we did get to the eventual tops up here, we did see delta strength coming in to take profit, but we don't even need to go any further with this trade because there wasn't any delta strength signals to give us an idea that we should be getting short. We go back another 30 minutes and we have an exhaustion trade here where we initially saw some extremely good delta strength support here and here on the point and figure chart, we had an excellent number on higher volume of a 729. So if we were looking at this, at these two charts, everything would look good for a trade. Now, when we look at the 150 tick chart, we again see what could be deemed some high risk. We again have a strong trend reversal trading from blue to blue. We retrace to the minor support, which is what is expected. And then we have a test of this original low where we receive our exhaustion signal. And what that looks like on the order flow chart is here's the first time down where it would be considered high risk. We received a stopping ratio and a ZTP order flow buy. The second time down we received a POC absorption buy. And then a, a very large trader came in and gave us this 622 right here. Now at this point, what we are concerned with is any opposing signals. And immediately 
as the market traded to the blue counter trend zone on the 150 tick chart, an area where we would expect to see resistance at counter trend resistance, we received a ZTP order flow on that bar coming down and then that was followed by a POC absorption, extension, and exhaustion signal. Additionally, we created extension zones at 26.74 and a quarter and 26.74 even, right about here, which would have been the area where, where you likely would have had your entry been. So again, what we are seeing is after we get into this, we see multiple order flow sell signals and not clear order flow signals that are buy to the buy side only. Obviously, what we'd like to see is what we saw in the tick divergence trade from back here. We'd like to see only red on the screen. We received the Zone Trader Pro stopping ratio and we created extension zones as we started to sell off and the market traded to areas of previous resistance. As we traded down, we created more extension zones and more order flow until we did reach this bottom down here and traded into the ZTP order flow buy and POC absorption. This is obviously what we'd like to see if we're in a trade. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see the opposing order flow signals coming in, giving us opposing signals to what we've just done. So what are you going to do if you are in this type of trade? Well, the first thing that you need to know and need to understand is the pattern of a strong trend is when we are in a strong trend, we trade back to the minor as we did right here and we create another strong trend. Now, that doesn't happen in very many instances, probably only about 20%. But when it does, we are going to have a losing exhaustion trade because we've reversed from minor, we've traded down to the exhaustion area, and then when we didn't get the support we expected, we see this as our loss. However, what you should be expecting in this instance is that if we are in a strong trend to the downside, then you should be ready to be getting out of the trade if you have conflicting information. A few minutes later, we again see that we were in a strong trend. We again retraced to minor, but this time we traded into a tick divergence exhaustion trade. We see significant support here and we saw the order flow come in here. We didn't see any sell order flow until we reached the intermediate resistance zone which is kind of what it was expected and turned out to be a good place to take a profit and then maybe wait for this uh, trend short trade here. At this point in the trade where we see the exhaustion sell and the ZTP order flow sell if all we did was tighten our stops so that we had absolutely zero risk in the trade and then evaluated what we were seeing on the screen, that is part of a trading plan that you need to consider when executing these types of trades. Also, if your trading plan just took profit after you made three points, you wouldn't be dealing with whether or not you needed to tighten a stop up or not. So what your trading plan needs to do is to look at what you are most comfortable with. Do you want to take three points from every trade? If so, then set the ATM strategy for that and be happy when you've got three points in the bank right here. Wait for this three points to come your way and take your exit here at the counter trend support zone rather than trying to squeeze out the other two points that come all the way down here. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you should have any questions of course please give me a call.